I think Alfred was definitely one of our key characters that we stumbled upon. Back in Rhino Camp, we met Hakeem Alfred, who had been appointed as headmaster of Hope Primary School. This community decided that they couldn't wait for someone to come and provide a school for them. They took the education of their children into their own hands. We've been told about the school, and I don't think we really grasped the gravity of what the school was doing until much, much later. Much later. Honestly, until the editing room, we realized Alfred was going to be a big part. And it really made me sad that we were in so many um, conversations and in this space so much, and we didn't have the cameras out, and we didn't record some of the stuff. The, the one conversation I remember was we were at a PTA meeting with the whole team and it was some me it wasn't part of our film plan it wasn't anything that we were supposed to film and he was just telling the community talking to the other teachers and the parents about he called it a begging letter he wrote a begging letter to Window Trust asking them it was just an organization asking them if they had leftover books, leftover chairs. And he's asking them for, for resources for the school. It's like he wrote a begging letter for leftovers and not for himself, for others. And then when I remembered in the editing room, I remembered that conversation and I was really sad because we were in the presence of a hero, really. And... I wasn't listening. Yeah, we really, we really didn't know really who Alfred was yeah. until we got to the editing room and we started looking over what he'd said over and over again until we realized that what he was saying was simply incredible. A, a generation that does not go to school is a generation that I can say it is like a generation born without eyes. It's blind completely. And I guess maybe it was the situation we were in, right? You're living in a refugee camp and very much outside of our own elements. And we were focused on the shots and making sure everything's in focus. If education is not there, all these uh, crimes will continue. And we had our journalists, Haley and Don, they were listening and engaging conversation that we, I don't think you or I were really listening to what he was saying in the conversation until later we really discovered how Alfred could be like a major guide in our film, helping the audience as well as us as filmmakers in our direction of where we wanted to take it. So what is your dream for these children when they're adults, when they're your age? What would be your dream because of Hope School? My dream is that they have to be people who will stand by themselves. People who will be responsible and people who would also keep on transforming the society into a positive way, not negatively. So that uh, in future when we return to South Sudan, we will have people who have diversity of knowledge and people who will build good relationships with the neighborhood. Good morning. Dear immediate neighbors the neighboring countries, even the entire world. The funny thing about Alfred is that a lot of our film was about resilience and starting over and finding the courage to just move forward against all odds. And Alfred was in the camp and got set up and was only sitting there for three months mm -hmm. before he decided to start taking action. And that's that sort of, that urge that I need to do something. I can't just sit here and wait. I must move forward. And he really has become a beacon of hope to the entire community. Yeah, super inspiring. For us who are teachers, we can't sit and wait for someone to come and eradicate illiteracy in our country. So we have to begin. Uh, you know, we are refugees now here, but being a refugee does not mean that you cannot have access to learning. Learning continues. And so we have to continue because the children are growing.
if we keep on waiting, who will come and do for them? See? That's why we have taken it very important that it has to be a priority for us to see that our children go to school. Yeah.